I'd like to talk about the calibration of the Isaac HD multifunction leak tester. The tools we'll need to, for this process are our house air supply and house power supply plugged into the air connections on the rear of the tester. We'll also need a digital pressure gauge depending on the accuracy that you follow. At the factory we follow NIST traceability which requires the unit under test has to be calibrated by a device that is four times greater than its accuracy. In this case we're approaching about ten times accuracy so we're well within NIST traceability. Calibration should always be performed in units of PSIG. If your engineering units have changed you'll need to go to the config mode under units and change from your units to PSIG. Once your calibration is performed you can return and change the engineering units. To enter the calibration, we press the calibrate button. We are immediately shown a warning that says calibration of instrument sensors to be performed only by qualified personnel. If we are authorized personnel, we hit the calibrate button, which then gives us a menu of choices to calibrate. The Isaac has three different sensors we can calibrate, positive pressure, vacuum pressure, and flow. Today we'll show for an example calibration of a pressure sensor. So we'll enter the pressure menu. In the pressure menu we have the current reading of the pressure transducer. We have the status of the internal valves. They're set to off. We have the calibration points here listed. Calibration point is 1 psi. Calibration point 2 is 2 psi on all the way up the, ra the range of the tester. You'll notice that they start at a low point at 1 and go to the high point at 7. This particular unit's full scale is 15 psi. To verify or read the calibration, we'll attach our digital pressure gauge to the test port. To get air flowing through the machine, we'll turn the valves on. Now we can turn the regulator in the back of the machine to the desired pressure on our digital pressure gauge. If we want to verify all the cal points, I can start with the first point and dial in what it reads on the first calibration point of 1 psi, or as close to it as possible. Now I will record the digital pressure gauge and the device under test and see where they vary. I can do this for all points up the range. Let's go to the 6 psi set point. I've dialed 6 psi into my digital pressure gauge. I can read what it reads on my on the Isaac. It's very close. So if we read all the points, we can then see if they're within calibration tolerance. If they are within calibration tolerance, we can simply exit. If not, and we need to modify the calibration, we can go to the calibration point we need to modify. In this case, let's modify the first calibration point of 1 psi. So I'm going to dial with my digital pressure gauge 1 psi, or as close to it as I possibly can, and I'm going to touch this calibration point, which should bring up a number pad. I can either change it, or I can leave it the same. In this case, I'm going to leave it the same, and I'm going to reteach the machine what 1 psi is by pressing Enter. The value in the upper right-hand corner flashes now to its new value. So we are within 0 .002 psi of the master gauge, on our tester, well within calibration values. We can then repeat this process for all the points we need to, to, to reset simply by dialing the pressure we want to calibrate to in the digital pressure gauge. And pressing the calibration point that we want it changed to. The value should change in the upper right hand corner screen. If at any time during the calibration process you feel you've done something incorrectly, the only way to keep that change from happening permanently is to reach behind the machine and shut the power off. The calibration procedure will then have to be repeated if there were any changes made, but pressing the back button will save all calibration points whether you've done it incorrectly or you've done it correctly. So use caution. Once the procedure is complete, Simply hit back and calibration is finished.